In this video, I'm going to go over a simple yet effective bike maintenance routine that you can do at home. This routine can be done by both beginner riders and advanced riders and works with almost any bike. If you like this video, consider hitting that subscribe button for more maintenance guides, mountain biking tips, and product reviews. This routine starts with a bike wash. No one wants to work on a dirty bike, so giving it a good wash will not only help to keep it in working order, but it'll be nicer for you to work on. I'm using a bike wash solution made by WD-40, but this can be done with just some soap and water. Make sure you get in all the nooks and crannies too. When you're done, make sure to give it a solid and thorough rinse down as leftover soap can help wear down some parts. Lubing your chain can be overlooked sometimes, but it makes a big difference. A clean and lubed chain will shift seamlessly and smoothly while riding. Apply lube to the chain as you spin the pedals. Let it sit for a minute and then take an old rag to wipe it down. Your chain should come out nice and clean and ready to shift nicely. While we're dealing with a derailleur, take an old toothbrush and use it to clean out the jockey wheels. You wouldn't believe how dirty these things get. I've actually had one break on me because I let so much dirt build up in there. That's the second to last thing that you'd want happening on a ride. The last thing that you'd want happening while you're riding is for one of your bolts to go flying off your bike. For this next step, you will need a multi-tool with various Allen keys on it. Go over all the main bolts on your bike to make sure they're all tight. If you don't have a certain key, just tighten up all the ones that you can. The main ones that I like to check are my brakes, the seat, and the handlebar, but if you have the tools, I encourage you to go over your whole bike. Doing this will give you a mental peace of mind while you're riding, knowing that your bike is fully in check. You definitely don't want a bolt coming loose mid-ride. Trust me on that one. The next thing to do is to check your spokes and your wheels to see if any play happens or your wheel moves side to side. Your spokes gradually loosen over time when your wheels take big hits, like going off jumps or drops for example. Place your fingers on the spokes and give them a gentle squeeze. Make sure to go around the whole wheel and check every spoke. They should feel tight, but if anyone is loose, then you know that you have a loose spoke. If you have the tools and the knowledge, tighten up any loose spokes. In this case, I don't, so I would take my bike to the shop if there was any loose spokes or my wheels needed a truing. It's good to catch these little things early as they can lead to much bigger problems if left untouched. The final thing to do is to get your suspension dialed in. Doing this will make sure that you have a balanced bike that caters to your riding style. If you have RockShox suspension, use the markings as a general starting point. Personally, I like my suspension a little bit stiffer, so I usually aim for around 25% sag. I find that cycling the air in my suspension semi-regularly helps to keep it feeling fresh. Just take note of your previous PSI. And that completes this routine. Your bike should be in all running order and ready to ride. You should do this routine every four to seven rides to maximize the benefits without wasting time or materials. Thank you all very much for watching. And just remember, think less, ride more.